Hey guys, welcome to the third video of our classic Slidy Pencil Box series. And today we are going to look at how to turn this pencil box into a, a slightly more complex engineering drawing or an orthogonal drawing than the desk tidy one we did um, a few weeks ago. Right, so as you can see, we have two pages here. One's got our pencil box as a whole. So we got our front, top and side views with an isometric view. And the next one shows our parts individually. Right. Now the parts only have two views showing per part. That's because it's not really necessary to put the top view of these things because you can see it up here. So you kind of have an idea what it's supposed to look like, but all the relevant information regarding dimensions is already here. Here we got our thickness and everything there. You'll also notice that the scale in this page is one to three. Okay, so it's a third of the size. And the scale here, the sheet scale is one to two, which means these are all one to two, but the base and the lids are one to three. I've done that because if not, it would have been quite a tight fit to do the base and the lid in the page scale of one to two of half size. Wouldn't quite fit there. Or it would look a little untidy. Okay, now this is not recommended that you do, that you change scales within the page, but it's either this or do the whole thing in an A3 page and you can't print it at home if you wanted to, right? But if we were doing this in school, we'll do it in A3 and we'll use the printers to print in A3. Uh, not a lot of you have A3 printers at home. I don't. Anyway, so let's get on with it, shall we? Another thing I want to tell you is I'm not running in full screen today because um, I found that the more complex the drawing gets, the um, when I say when I say drawing, I mean actual orthogonal drawing. This is a model. Uh, the more complex an actual drawing gets, the slower that Safari and the Mac run. So we're running it in a windowed desktop. Okay, cool. Let's get on with it. So you know you've done this before. I'm gonna, like I said before, just gonna keep going. Um, if you do miss some instructions or whatever I've done, pause it, rewind, rewatch it, and you'll probably get it, okay? Um, be going a bit faster than the first engineering drawing video I did. Okay, so here we go. New element. Create a drawing. Custom template. ISO. Millimeters. Always that angle. Do not include a border. And okay. There we go, we are here. Get rid of that and that. Um, quick sort of a familiarization with uh, workspace again, which I didn't tell you in the last video that we did regarding the drawings, is that on the right here, you've got this banner. It says Drawing Properties. If you click that, you're gonna open this tab that has all the drawing properties. So you got your units and precision there. You've got your dimensions, uh, annotations, yep, and views etc etc so we'll use this accordingly i'll show you what these do but um, i encourage you to just have a play with it it's the best way to kind of learn this kind of software really anyway so that's the drawing properties and on the left you're gonna the sheets tab so if you open that you'll see it says sheets there's one sheet because we've only got one so far by the end we'll have two sheets okay and every time we put a view in here it'll populate this so we can edit views like so as well right so let's jump in okay so you probably noticed that the fan is running quite high i don't know if the mic's picking it up but it is which means the computer is working quite hard so it's going to lag a bit which yours might as well so just um yeah just take it really slow right and we're going to insert a view now sorry there we go click insert view we want to insert the pencil box here insert you'll notice that the actual pencil box isn't here but it's broken up into little pieces to select the pencil box you'll have to pick Part Studios over here. Click that button, you'll see that it pops up. Now sometimes the little icon wouldn't show based on, I don't know, performance of your laptops or computers and the web page and what's happening over there. Don't worry, if it says Part Studio 1, just click it and you'll see that there it is as the front of your pencil box. We have to change the scale to 1 to 3, so a third of the size, which means 1 millimeter on this sheet equals 3 millimeters in real life. So click the front, click and release by the way, and up, there we go, the top. So if we made this any bigger, it would spill out the borders, and we don't want that. We want all our information in the sheet to remain within the border, just like you would in an exercise book. All right, we're still in projective view, so click that, and bring it out to the right side, which will show us the right side. Still in projective view, click and drag up here, which will give us the isometric view. Okay, so we got our front, top, 
and right and isometric. I'm going to reformat this and add dimensions later. Um, let's first work on bringing all the parts in and then doing dimensions, then formatting it. So escape to get out of that. Click on the sheets tab. Now you'll see, see we've got front, top, right and isometric. So yeah, the sheet one, create a new sheet. You can see here it says insert sheet, click insert sheet and you've got sheet two, okay. Now to scroll back to sheet one, you'll notice that using the scroll wheel like you would in a PDF or a word processor doesn't work. So what you'll have to do is double click sheet one and sheet one comes up. Go back to sheet two, double click sheet two, sheet two comes up. Okay, fairly simple. So single clicking it's not gonna do anything. Double click, sheet one, double click on this one, back to sheet two. All right, now that that's done, let's work on getting the path. Looking at the drawing I've done before, you'll see we've got the side, front, back, and handle, and you'd say, hang on, you're missing a part here. Yes, that's because the side is essentially the same part, left and right side. So we're gonna save some space and time by saying we need two of these. Right, that's why I've gone ahead and annotated these. Okay, so side, front, back, and handle. Let's go and bring them in. So back to insert view. We're gonna go with one to two for this sheet. Okay, and insert. We're back in the parts. So side, this is this left side, but that's okay. And front view. So we're watching it from the left, there we go. And bring out that side view, so just pull the mouse to the side. There we go, right, okay, that's done there, escape. That's the side. Okay, new part again, sorry, insert view again, insert, let's go for the front. Now, the, you notice that in the front, the image is just showing a plain rectangle, that's because we are looking at the front of the front part, where all the detail, the rebate at the bottom is at the back of the front part. So we want to see the back of it, which means we've got to go to view orientation over here, click down, and click on back, and you'll notice that that rebate's popped up, right? So click that, and go to the left a bit, and you get the side view of the front part, new view, Insert view, we're gonna do this for all the parts now. Insert, let's go for the back. Okay, back's fine because the front of the back face or the back part shows the details. So the main thing we are concerned about here is showing the detail because we need to dimension it so that when you give this drawing to someone to manufacture, they can get on with it and just do it. All right, that's the side there. And the last, um, solid timber part that we need to do is the handle. Now the handle doesn't matter which if you look at the front or the back because it's just a basic sort of um, extruded rectangle isn't it? Right, there we go. And bring it there. Okay. We'll line this all up nicely after we've started dimensioning it. Okay, uh, for the lid. Oops, wrong one. Insert. Go with the lid first. Now, one to two, trust me, is a bit too big, so we're gonna go with one to three. Changing the scale. That's the front of the lid. And then we go up to the top of the lid. Okay, so for the lid, we're gonna show the top and the front, and we're gonna do the same with the base as well. Insert view, insert base. Let's click on this view scale again and go to one to three. And just kind of line it up there as best you can. I put it go up, and there's your base. All right? You'll notice that the base is slightly smaller than the lid because it has to fit on the bottom, and it's not as long. Sorry. Cool. That's all our views in. So hit Escape to get out of projected view. All right? Let's start dimensioning this now. Start with. Now you see we've got all of these different views here. Okay. You can right click on these and change view properties to your heart's desire. Right, you can change your view scale from here. Like for example, if I change the base front from one to three to one to two, which is half the size, you'll notice that it gets bigger. See what I mean? There's not enough space to kind of dimension it. So we're gonna go back to one to three. I only showed you that because you don't necessarily have to right click on 
the parts or the individual components, you can go to the feature tree and do it that way too. Okay, back to sheet one, double click. Here we are, you can hide this. We're gonna give this an overall dimensioning. Okay, so D for dimension, like I like to show, front view. Okay, let's show the width in the front. So I can't select that and expect it to go down the entire width. So we're going from corner to corner. And there we go, 132. And again, we want to go show the full height. So there to there, 44. Okay. And here we can show the height of this side alone, which is, should be 42. And we can even show, we can show the length here, 240. Okay, I'll light up and things on like that. Then we can show how much this sticks up by, if you really want to as well, by two mil. There we go, okay. For a complete assembly drawing, that is enough detail. We've got the length, 240. We've got the height of the complete object, 44 mils, and we've got the width, right? 132 millimeters. We don't need to go into that much detail here regarding the parts. We'll do that in the next page, okay? So that's done there. Escape out of dimension. Click that. Double click on sheet. Two. Okay, let's get on with this. Um, I like to start dimensioning the, the easier ones first. So we're gonna start with the lid and the base. So dimension, D. Start with the thickness of the lid. Let's zoom right in. There we go, it's three mil. All right, and we can put the, the width of the lid is 120 mil. And the length of it is 234. All right, and we'll do the same thing here. Should be 120, should be a wee bit shorter. 228. And the width, no, sorry, the thickness is three mil as well. All right, there we go. Right, we'll clean this all up eventually. Um, while we're here, may as well annotate them, right? So here we go, this is how we do it. You click on the A here, which says note. Just gonna place the note there. Call this lid, enter, whoops, no, not enter, green tick, and note here, call that base, green tick, okay, and escape to get out of it, right, now let's go for the next easiest one, which is the handle here, D for dimension, clicked, that side is what we want to start with, 120. And we'll do the height on the front, eight. And the width up here too is 12. Right, and let's just move on up this ladder. Um, here, I'm going to do the height on this side because I can tell you that there's gonna be a lot of information on this part here and I don't wanna overcrowd it. So we can't pick the entire height, so we're gonna go from point the top point to the bottom point to go to 42 and then we get a width of 120 okay and a thickness of 12 right now here we go from point to point to tell us that that rebate is six there to there to tell us that it's three and this line to tell us that that is also six. Now, here is where it starts getting messy. All right, just to like be able to move that in a way. In fact, here's a good thing that just happened. I'm gonna go back, delete this three, hit delete on the keyboard, and I'll, I'll dimension the, the groove on this view here. All right, so there we go, and three. Um, I'm actually not going to edit that out for you. I'm going to leave it in so you can see that um, nothing just happens perfectly the first time ever, right? Um, so dimension again. Give it this one here, here to there. It's three as well. And the depth, that's there here. We can see that that's six as well, but 
don't ever assume it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit Escape, pick this two-point center line tool over here, go from there to there, and you'll see that it draws a center line kind of thing. So that kind of tells us that that's both the same depth. So we don't crowd it with another six mil in there. That's really not necessary. Okay, so we hit Escape. Let's go back to the front now, which is a bit less complicated. So point and point, height 42, width 120, thickness 12, okay, and here to here, 3, and there, there is oops, 6. Notice, because this is at an angle, if you rotate your mouse to the right a bit, it'll come at 6.71, so um, that's because that is projecting parallel to a line drawn across this. So we don't want that, we want to go down, 6. All right. Now guys, if you do make a mistake, or you can just escape, click on the dimension that you thought you did wrong, and delete it. Right. And then go back and start it again. There was no mistake there, just thought I'd let you know. All right, so we got 12, 33 tall, 6 and 3, and there we go. Now let's move to the front. On the front, we're going to have the height, the width, and the dimension of the rebates. Okay, so I'm going to do that all on this face, and then up here I'll do the trench, um, the groove, and the bottom rebate. Right, so here we go. Open that, 42. You'll see why we made the lid smaller. Okay, you can see that that's really not good. So eventually, once we're done with this, we're going to move this out of the way. So it doesn't clash with that 240 line. Makes it a bit really untidy. It's not professional. All right, so here we go. Rebate there to there. It's 12 mil. Okay, we do the rebate here too. Here to here. It's 12 mil. All right, and now we can do the thickness, which is that there. 12 that and that is six just like i did before i'm going to do the three mil on this side and that to that is six and here to here is three okay I think that's most of our dimensions done. Always double check, we've got our height, length, thickness, 12, 3, we've got the depth of the rebate at 6 here, you can see that. Right, um, so let's start putting our notes now, so back to A, note up here. Let's type in side times 2. We want this to be a bit longer. There we go. Okay. That tells you the size of your text box. So it's not like word, it's completely different. Okay, side times two. Note here. That's our front. Tick. Note here. That's our back. And this will be our handle. Just going to write it on top here. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and edit these notes and say front part, back part, and side part because um, some people might get it confused with the front, side, back views and then they'll go ahead and go, what's a handle view? So yeah, let's, um, let's edit that. So escape. Here we go. So double click on front to bring it back up. And here we go. Yeah, space, part. Notice that it um, goes down just so let's open up that text box, green, double click on back, space, part, green arrow, uh, we don't need to call it a handle part, but we'll call this a side part as well, um, just to avoid any confusion. Alright, so part times two, a little bit bigger, so the times two goes there. Alright, so let's select and highlight these two things, and move that. 
we go. You'll notice that if you move the bottom one of these views, the other one just moves along with it, right? But I've selected these all because um, the lid and the base views aren't tied to this. Right? So now here, I'm going to move it in and down a bit more. A bit more. There we go. Now within the border, that's good enough for me. Uh, guys, you can spell as long as you want trying to line all of these things up perfectly. Uh, if you want to. Um, there we go. Let's go there. 42 handle. Bring it in slightly. The front of the handle. Right, there we go. Okay, we'll, we'll call that good enough for this. Right, so double click on sheet one again. Go here. We had to remember we had to populate our title. So double click. It'll open up. Um, backspace the dashed lines there. And let's start typing. Um, pencil box. Oh, it's a classic pencil box. All right, classic pencil box. Done. Right, um, drawing number. It's one. Oops. Backspace the thing. One. There we go. Okay. Um, mm, if you want to, you can delete these ones because they don't need to be there. And you'll see it says sheet one of two here because we've got two sheets. Back to sheet two. Zoom in here, and it says drawing number here. But um, double click it, and we can call this parts. Right. And it says drawing number, but um, that's fine for what we want to do. Yeah. If you really want to, you can go back to drawing number here. Let's yeah, let's call it complete. And green arrow done. Okay. So that's your pencil box drawing done as well. Always double check. You can never double check too much. Actually, I'd like to move all of these a bit more to the middle. There we go. Quite happy with that now. Tell you, if you really want to, you can label this front, top, and side, but you don't need to because if you look here, it says third angle projection, right? Everyone, every engineer, designer who looks at this would know third angle projection means, okay, that's the front, that's the top, and then that is the right side. Okay, which is why this sign is here. We'll talk about it more when we go through it in class. Okay, guys, that's it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. And when we get back to school, we'll make this pencil box out of timber using saws and chisels and whatnot, following the drawings that we made. Guys, take it easy. Stay safe. See ya.